So, who am I going to fix next? Out of our remaining 805 Pokemon, I'm sure you wouldn't have guessed that I'd be knocking not one, not two, but three Pokemon off that list for today. Maybe it's the Regis? Or at least the ones that were came up with before Regigigas? Well, I kind of want to go more in-depth with them, and, uh... I don't know if it's the date or something, but I just don't feel like doing that today. Well then, perhaps it's a set of starters again. Nah. All the other starters have some good stuff going for them anyways. I could even fix each Kyurem form, although... To be honest, most of the problems are from an aesthetic standpoint and not a battle standpoint. Not our area of expertise, you know what I'm saying? Alright, if you haven't guessed which three Pokemon I'm fixing yet, I'll just give you this dead giveaway of a hint. They are the big three in Ubers. <laughs> yes, that's right, I'm a mad lad today. I'm going to be fixing Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, and Omega Rayquaza. So, let the fuck. Okay, what the fuck is going on in here? What are you do- Gardevoir, use Moonblast! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just had to take care of, uh, a little problem. So, how does one fix Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, and Mega Rayquaza? Well, Bear in mind that when I say fix, that doesn't necessarily mean buff. Get the fuck out of here. I, I'm going to be weakening the hell out of these guys because... I swear to god, noobs just spam these three Pokemon. And while they're so easy to fight for my North Star Profits team, a lot of people may have trouble with them. So, I'd rather be a st sadistic fuck, if you know what I mean. So, initial typing and stats to start everything off as always. We'll start with Groudon in his base form, who is a pure ground type to start with, and has the ability Drought. Which is pretty good, considering it would be weak to water normally. Its base stats are 100 base HP, 150 attack, 140 defense, 100 special attack, 90 special defense, and 90 speed, giving us 670 total. When it reverts to its primal form, though, it gains the secondary fire typing and gets the bullshit ability, Desolate Land. <laughs> I'm sure we've all heard horror stories about how good this is, how broken it is. Its stats get a boost as well. 30 more points go into attack, 20 more points go into defense, and 50 more points go into special attack. Giving it 180, 160, and 150 respectively. That makes it a total of 770. Okay. We've, uh, we've got some rebalancing to do. First, I want to touch up its ability, Desolate Land, because it's such bullshit. We're going to make it so that it doesn't nullify water moves completely. Still weakens them by 50%, though, because I don't want to be too harsh here. We're also only going to give it a 50 base stat total increase, and 25 points will be taken out of the base attack and special attack. This will give it 155 attack and 125 special attack. We're also going to make Precipice Blades completely exclusive to Primal Groudon, while also boosting its base accuracy to 100. Trust me, this balancing is going to be needed for later. So now we move on to Kyogre. It has the ability Drizzle and it's a pure water type meaning that electric type moves will uh, pretty much devastate it outright as drizzle isn't nearly as useful as drought 
Its base stats are 100 HP, 100 attack, 90 defense, 150 special attack, 140 special defense, and 90 speed, giving it the same 670 total that Groudon had. When it reverts to its primal form, it gets a 100 point boost as well, but 50 points go into attack, and 30 points into special attack, 20 into special defense, giving it 150, 180, and 160 respectively. But it doesn't even gain a secondary typing. I always found this very weird. Yes, Primordial C nullifies fire type moves completely, but unless you're fighting a double battle, this is completely useless as fire types aren't really effective against water types anyways. So, we're going to go ahead and give it a secondary typing of ice. We're also going to make it so that Primordial Sea does not nullify fire moves completely anymore, but still weakens by 50%. Similar change we made to Groudon's Desolate Land. And again, we're only going to give it a 50 base that total increase instead of 100. 25 points taken out of its base attack and special attack. So it will have 125 attack and 155 special attack. Origin Pulse will also be exclusive to it. And we're going to boost its accuracy to 100 and its power to 120. Again, similar to how Precipice Blades was buffed for Groudon to sort of kind of balance it. Ay, ay, ay. Now we move on to the motherfucker himself. Rayquaza. Holy shit. I mean, it was okay in Pokemon Generation 3 when it was already a legendary. But then when they gave it its Mega, it just really, you went to just overboard with this. Let's try and figure out why. Now, its typing is Dragon and Flying. This applies to both its base form and its mega form. In its base form, it has the ability Airlock. And this ability will negate all the effects of the weather. Which I guess is okay in some situations. Its base stats in its base form are 105 HP, 150 attack, 90 defense, 150 special attack, 90 special defense, and 95 speed, giving it a total of 680. And on paper, this seems fine. You, of course, buff it up by 100 points for its mega form because it is a mega. And 30 points go into attack, 10 points go into defense. 30 more into special attack, 10 more into special defense, and 20 more into speed. This gives it 180 attack, 100 defense, 180 special attack, 100 special defense, and 115 speed. So what exactly makes Mega Rayquaza so fucking powerful? <sighs> For some fucking reason... Game Freak decided it would be a good idea to have Rayquaza be the only Mega Pokemon that can Mega Evolve without even holding an item. This means that you can give it a Life Orb so that it hits even harder. Do you see how bullshit this is just right off the bat? Oh... Oh, I want to shoot you down so bad, Rayquaza. I want to hit you with something more devastating than the soul-stealing 7-star strike. So, we're going to make Delta Stream only weaken super effective moves by 25% instead of 50%. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention Delta Stream. It's mega ability. It does that. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking bullshit. Uh, let's see. We're going to leave its base stat total increase at 100. But, we're going to require it to hold a Megastone to Mega Evolve. Fuck you!
You're a Pokemon. You gotta follow the rules like the rest of us. Dragon Ascent. We're going to make it base 150 power. But it's also going to lower speed in addition to its defense and special defense. It's only fair. We're also going to make Dragon Ascent completely exclusive to it. And now, a final change to all three of these guys, because I don't feel like I've been too harsh here. We're going to give each of these guys a fixed moveset after their Primal Reversion or Mega Evolution. For Groudon, that fixed moveset will be Precipice Blades, Eruption, Stone Edge, and that's it. No fourth move. N pretty much no coverage. No setup with Stealth Rock. Fuck you. For Kyogre, its fixed moveset will be Origin Pulse, Water Spout, Ice Beam. And that's it. No fourth move for you. Either. <laughs> and for Rayquaza, we're going to be giving it Dragon Ascent. Outrage, Extreme Speed, and again, that's it. No third move for you either, because fuck you. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go hit the road before uh, Kieran breaks out of that restraint. Shit, I think he's breaking out now. Um, fire up the blue, uh, the blue falcon. I, I gotta go. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs>